Um, the only other, I guess the moving on, the last thing that wanted to uh, talk about, I guess in the 1.x stuff, we talked a little bit about the DX vote app, I guess, uh, DAP, I guess Augusto had, had dropped off, but then there's also the DXD snapshot um, proposal. So I don't know if anyone had thoughts on, on that. I know it had like passed, I think, but there was about 620 DXD in support, which is a little bit lower than the first one. Um, so thinking about how to engage uh, snapshot. Uh, I think it was significantly lower. Uh, it was like 600. The first one was like almost 5,000. So I think it. I think a lot of it is awareness of it. Um, as I think Cobello had pointed out in the chat, um, maybe uh, it's it, we need a system better than just like when there's a new one shared around Telegram, like with uh, the new discord if that becomes like the place it becomes a much with bots and things it becomes a much um clearer like you can have a channel for just all the proposals from snapshot and then all the proposals from alchemy and it can become this place that everyone can reference all the different uh all the different like topics of the xdao uh in general we should just have a like a standard practice for sharing important new proposals, especially as we're getting DXD holders more involved. Um, but Discord, I mean, we can just tell people like Discord is going to become the spot where you're going to be able to see everything that's going on. And especially with proposals, there'll be a channel for important DXD holder and rep holder proposals. And we'll also have a chat um, in Discord, hopefully, that only D, like you have to prove that you hold some DXD using a, a like a, a bot, a collab land bot, um, to become part of that channel. So like you can have things like that in Discord as well. So if you if DXD holders really care at all, like they will join this Discord, they will be in the DXD channel, and they will be aware of the channel where any DXD vote vote is being done. So I think that's a big step in the right direction. Any other thoughts on Snapshot? Cool. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think the Discord will be a good step. Then I, uh, Keenan is working on some some stuff there that I think we should. Uh, yeah, we'll be excited and looking forward to that. I um, just quickly, anyone that uh, currently has access, I would uh, love if you could take a look around, uh, see how it works, uh, how it flows and whatnot, and get back to me. I'd appreciate that. Real quick on the roles, Keenan, maybe people aren't that aware or familiar with Discord, but when you first get there and you choose a role, uh, that's like a self, it's, it's basically what you personally are interested in, right? It's not... Because some roles are often assigned by the project, and but in this case, it's like I want to have roles that I choose. I'm interested in, the, in that topic, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I just think some people, some people are really familiar with Discord, and some people are are less familiar. So we'll we won't really know how that's working until we get some more people in there. I think. So we can always speak so, um, it as we go. I joined today and uh, I didn't see any roles, so I didn't get it. <laughs> okay, so that's the... Should I be asked for a role or...? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think um, I need some, a little bit of uh, design for, for the, you know, rules information kind of page. And hopefully once that's a little bit more concise and readable, it'll be yeah, a bit yeah. more people, obvious. No, people don't read. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. do, I do. You know, I, I'm the exception. You know, I read everything. No, it's so it, 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 Discord is a gaming. It, it started in gaming. And for gamers, it's very, like, all these emojis and things are very familiar. You, yeah, you I used it. I used it a lot. You know, I used it some, not a lot, but I use it. I have like but you, you pick roles by, like, clicking on the emoji of the role that you want. And, and that for a gamer, that's very clear. But for most people, that's not that clear. So that no, it is... I, it is I, leap 
I didn't know that this kind of thing exists anyway, you know, this card. Yeah. So I, I use it maybe for a year or so, but yeah, just for crypto stuff. So I don't think people, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not about it. I'm not a gamer. So I not pick yet. one right now. Thanks. Yeah, you sort of pick all. <laughs> the idea is that the general community, uh, let's say, someone's heavily involved in Swapper and DXDAO, but you know, doesn't give a rat about Omen, can like subscribe and only be involved in those kind of chats uh, and not be, you know, you don't want to get notified of announcements for a product that you don't currently care about. And, you know, giving avenues to learn about other products is great, but um, being around to, to be what they want to be there for, I think is important. Cool. Um, yeah, that was uh, it. I just wanted to flag uh, two posts that I uh, wrote this week, one on treasury and uh, maybe some ideas on how to diversify it once we get the multi-call scheme in installed, and then also a potential uh, DHD buyback, which I think would be great for seeding liquidity in Swapper. Um, so yeah, not, I don't, we're not really ready to move forward with any type of formal discussion or proposal there, but I just wanted to get the conversation started on both of those. So just flagging those to check out. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's it. Yes. Bye. Awesome call. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Bye. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. See you.